just took the bike out. Uh, the weather was really nice, so I figured I would take it out for a rip. Just want to do a little video about like what I think of it so far, you know? I don't really post a bunch of video about this bike, but it's pretty sweet. Um, I guess I can say like what it all has first. Let's see. Uh, it's got a Libra Pro full bark exhaust. It's a Libra Pro. It's pretty sweet. I really like it. I haven't taken much care of it or anything, but I just I built the bike and now I ride it. Um, yeah, so it's got the Libra Pro. It's got a Daytona kit with a stock head with a with a Daytona Spark Exciter uh, spark plug boot that John Cook gave me. It's super sweet. It says Daytona on it and I guess it has like this little spring on it that I don't know makes the contact stronger or something. But so yeah, it's got that. It's got the CF Posh. Uh, I don't know, ignition, external ignition coil, um, and wire. It's got a Keyheim PE24 carburetor. It's like a, it's like a real one. And then it's got a Uni foam filter. Um, just like the black one. But yeah, PE24, it's got the CR80 rubber uh, intake manifold and then it's got the uh, V-Force reeds with I think the posh or lips or maybe I don't know it's it's a riser that uh, adapts these things that John Cook gave me um, the clutch is a CF posh upgrade so it's like got beefier springs and I think an extra pad uh, I run the stock radiator, but I run this cool like clear hose on one of them. I don't know. I just want to see how long that hose would last and it's actually held up just fine. I mean the bike doesn't get very hot at all, but yeah, um, so yeah, it's got the Daytona with the full bark, V-Force, P24, clutches, uh, I did the full Daytona brake kit so the rear mags got the blue Daytona brake shoes which actually I feel the difference they feel really really good um, the front we rebuilt the forks and did new seals and everything on the stock forks and then I did what is it I drilled I drilled out the lowers and then I bought a brand new OEM uh, I don't know, I might link it on this video, but I'm pretty sure it was off like a... Ooh, I can't remember. I want to say YSR or something, but no. It was... It's some original Honda caliper that just so happens to bolt right up to uh, these forks. And then I got the... So I got that that's OEM Honda, and then I got the Daytona braided, braided brake hose. Um, it goes up to a, uh, let's see if I can get it, get the focus on that. Uh, I don't know if it will, but yeah, so it's a Daytona line, which it says it on the back side. I don't know if you can see it, but the line says it. I wish I could spin it around, but it just it didn't happen that way. I guess maybe I could flip the banjo and get it the other way, but it's already on there. Works great. But yeah, so it's a it's a Honda OEM caliper to a Daytona line up to a Daytona Nissan uh, brake reservoir, whatever you call this, you know, brake mechanism. But this is the shorter one that they sell. Uh, I almost bought the normal one that it recommended, but luckily I bought the shorter one because I thought, you know, it's all short. But yeah, so I got all that. That's all Daytona. The kill switch. Let's see. Let's see. The 
the kill switches Daytona. I think you can see it right there. Uh, the throttle is Daytona. You can see right there. So Nissan Daytona, Daytona Daytona, or Nissan Daytona, Daytona Daytona, Daytona Daytona, and it's got the Daytona in the the logos on the end of the grip. So I thought that was really cool. And then these caps I just had laying around um, from some other bike. I thought that looked pretty neat. Yeah, it's also got the Daytona temp gauge. Uh, I took out the stock Speedo and I replaced it with a tachometer that my buddy Lee gave me. Um, I don't really need the Speedo, I don't really care. I just like to see the RPMs. Uh, yeah. So full Daytona front and rear brake set, I guess you could call it full. It's the pads in the back. Um, the mag wheels I got from Italy, I think, and they are for a NS50 something. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I can link the type of bike or something in the video too, maybe. It's not, I don't think it's the NS1, but it might be the NS1. But yeah, so they're just, the staggered setup, so it's a 17 in the front and an 18 in the rear. Uh, kind of makes the stance a little different than stock. I do have the front fairing, but I've uh, procrastinated on putting it back on because I have to order the little pins that hold the windshield onto the fairing, and I just want it to look nice once I finally put it on there, so I'm like procrastinating. Um, but yeah, the wheels were really nice when I got them. I'm still using the stock uh, disc that came on the wheels, but I'm gonna upgrade that to like a, I don't know what it's called, I think just like a one piece, like a solid just disc instead of that weird dish it has. I just need to buy the spacer. Um, so yeah, the bike's been completely painted except for the wheels and the fairings, but like the tank, the seat, the trunk, and the front fairing and the fender were all painted at once. The wheels I got white, and then the bottom plastics are just the stock white. Uh, so I have on this side another product from John Cook. I got the, uh, what's it called, the G-Craft shift stabilizer, which I really like. Uh, just makes it feel better, I guess. Um, it's all pretty standard under here. Uh, stock ignition settings and everything but I'll show you in the trunk in a minute what I got for a CDI box I I pulled all the stock stuff out battery box and everything um, on the rear that's a CF posh gold sprocket I forget it's a 42 I think that's only like one or two teeth smaller than stock but yeah uh, what else so like the helmet lock still works, um, pretty much this frame and all the uh, all the arms and everything for it are like super clean. Nothing's really bent up or torn up. I'm using the stock control panel on the left side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this bar and mirror was pretty cool, it was just laying around and it fit it real well. Um, it's got a really nice chain on it. <laughs> I splurged on the chain and got the expensive one. Uh, you can see better V4 setup. Um, let's see. So yeah, stock radiator. Pretty much brand new tank. Uses the keys. The trunk. Let's see what's in here. So I got like a fanny pack. Little race rag. I got the batteries for the Daytona temp gauge if I ever need them. I got the tool kit. Um, and then, as far as the CDI, I'm rocking the black Posh Battle Box. Uh, I don't know. I had the gold one, the gold one was really good, but I was recommended to try the black one, and that's what I'm doing. It seems really good though on the black one, too. I have the battery lesser, like I said, I deleted like everything out of there, so no battery. Uh, 
what do they call this just like a fancy capacitor or something but it works um yeah try to make it look pretty clean i guess in here i mean it, it stores enough stuff but yeah what else um oh so to hold the bottle on uh it bolts to behind the fender and it's this little bracket that comes on like a gy6 scooter and uh, again john cook he hooked me up with one of those i have a second one too they're pretty cool little it's just nifty how it holds it right where it's supposed to be um uh, what else yeah i think that's it oh the so i also have a red uh <laughs> i'm trying to get it to focus on where it says japan but yeah it's just a red clutch cable uh, I forget what brand makes it, but it just matched the whole kind of theme that I had going with like some of the engine accents. Oh, nice. That's a little loose. <laughs> uh, let's see. The frame is number 2139. So it's up there. So it's like a, I guess I'd call it a newer one. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything works on it. It's super fun bike. It's really torquey. Uh, I don't know what the max speed is on it, but as long as it does 60, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm pretty sure it does 60 all day. <laughs> That's all I need it for, because it's just, it's so torquey. Always gotta check the trunk. That thing loves to fly off of there. Yeah. So I don't think it'll say it, but I mean, the temp gauge only ever gets up to maybe 80 Celsius. So it stays pretty cold. And 80s if I'm like really pushing this thing. It's actually cold today, so shouldn't be that. All right, let's see.